A glass column is filled with small acrylamide beads. The beads typically come suspended as a slurry. A buffer is run through the column to compact the beads. Then, buffer is set to run continuously through the column, added at the top and collected at the bottom. Before we load our sample, let's take a look at what goes on inside a gel filtration column. The beads, or resin, used in gel filtration chromatography have pores running through them. We choose the beads with pore size appropriate to the type of protein we're after. When the crude cell extract is introduced to the column, some proteins will be too large to enter the pores. These proteins can only travel around the beads as they pass through and exit the column. Smaller proteins in the extract may all enter the pore space. They will take longer to pass through since they travel a longer distance. So the earliest fractions collected will contain the largest proteins.